2020 has been a year of uncertainty and adversity. In uncertainty can lie opportunity. And through adversity, character can be revealed. Few embody these ideals more than Joseph Benavides and Davison Figueredo. Both men know struggle. Both men know pain. And both men know Fight Island is a chance at redemption. journey to Fight Island is different for everyone, and easy for no one. Davison Figueredo almost didn't make it here. His dreams were nearly derailed by the coronavirus. Normally, there are all kinds of problems that, that happen behind the scenes that people never know about. Now you can multiply that by a thousand with COVID-19. The situation with Davison, you know, very odd. It was one of those situations that I don't know, I haven't seen yet during all of this pandemic. He had actually tested positive a couple of months ago and had gone through it, you know, recovered. When he got to Vegas, he tested positive. His manager calls and he's saying, brother, you know, Figueredo, he, he had COVID a month and a half ago. I said, well, then you need to send me the result. I need to get it verified. Eu não sabia se, se a gente teria tempo para chegar à Ilha da Luta. E ao mesmo tempo que eu tinha essa dúvida, eu tinha uma grande... A, a maior dúvida era é, brigar com o meu corpo para mim não aumentar, para que eu pudesse chegar no evento e ser profissional, bater o peso. Dr. Davidson, the infectious disease guys that, that we had hired, initially sort of realized he is what they call a super shedder. He's a guy that over time sheds the virus in just a much slower way than other people. While you may still have remnants of the virus that show up on a positive result, it's not indicative of you being contagious. We gave Davis some blood tests uh, that confirmed that he actually did not have the COVID virus at this time. Cleared of COVID-19, Figueredo is able to compete. But he still has to make weight, and that has been a problem previously. The last time he fought for the flyweight title, Figueredo won the bout, but not the belt, because he missed the 125-pound weight limit. If you're in a title fight and you miss weight, it might be one of the worst things you can do as an athlete. It's so disrespectful to the opponent who's put himself through the same camp um processo de, de desidratação que é a parte mais difícil do nosso trabalho e uma pessoa que não que não é profissional é, é, não adianta tentar que não vai conseguir He's good. He's good. He's gonna float. He's gonna float. He's got two arms. Yeah, you're fine. Good job, man. Good job. For Figueredo, making weight is a hard-earned victory ahead of the fight. Figueredo wants to bring the title back to Brazil and give it to the man who helped raise him, his grandfather. He passed away just a few months earlier, and his home country, Brazil, has been ravaged by the virus. Brazil has seen a record increase in just the past 24 hours. They now have the second highest number of virus cases in the world behind only the United States. Like Figueiredo, Marina Rodriguez is also from Brazil. 
has also been adversely affected by the pandemic. A minha jornada até chegar a Abu Dhabi foi um pouco mais longa do que a gente esperava. Chegamos em, em São Paulo para fazer a quarentena e depois de dois dias de isolamento aí eu tive um corner, meu segundo corner, estou positivo por Covid. It was kind of a surprise for us because we got everybody tested the week before, just to make sure we wouldn't run into any problems like this. And the guy tested positive. Ah, no, no dia que eu recebi a ligação ali de que o meu segundo corner testou positivo, a notícia principal, a primeira notícia foi de que a minha luta eu não poderia viajar para Abu Dhabi. Talked to the UFC. The UFC was really nice about it, and we were able to work it out that instead of just canceling the fight, we moved it to the last day of the island. Like she was already quarantined in Sao Paulo, so she had to stay an extra 10 days in Sao Paulo, then another two here. So it might have been a couple of weeks in total. Final de mais um treino. Dia amanhecendo aqui, na Yas Islands. She might have had the, the longest quarantine out of any fighter in the fight island. With a 10 0 record, Rodriguez's journey to the UFC is unique. Even though she is 33, she only started training in martial arts when she was 25 years old. Her head coach is Marcio Malco. He's mainly from a striking background, Muay Thai. Has gone to Thailand several times, was one of the coaches for the national team. He has been with Marina since day one. He has a very particular way of training his fighters. He doesn't have a lot of people in competition, but everybody he is really hands-on. He's one of the few coaches that I, I've seen and work with that is really there for every training session. Everything is one-on-one. -on -one. Treinar de bike. He's not only her head coach, but I think one of her closest friends and one of the closest people to her. By happenstance, she met Malco in a fitness class. And now, she is one of the best in the world. Talking about Marina, it's Caesar. She is uh, very confident. I am proud of her. I am extremely happy to be training one of the best MMA fighters in the world. We have a great connection and a lot of respect each other. I love her. Fight Island is a first. Nothing like it has ever been done before in history. It has taken the effort of thousands of Abu Dhabi citizens to make it possible. Its existence during the pandemic has helped the UFC remain one of the top sports organizations in the world. Fight Island was built and designed for international fights. We have people fighting from all over the world. A lot of things have been accomplished in, 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 in pulling this off. Safety, organization, flying people in from all over the world. Pulling all that together is probably the biggest thing accomplishment during this whole thing. It's one of the things, those rare things, that you know as you're in them will be a memory for the rest of your life. And it's rare that you, you have that knowledge when you're going through an experience. This road right here, if I continue going straight for about five minutes, less actually, and take a left, I'm, a, I'm home. So my family lives on this island right here. I haven't seen them for over a month now. So it's, it's been tough, it's been tough. So close yet so far, but uh, you know what? Uh, you do what you can to get the vision uh, actualized and realized. Hi, Baba. Baba. Hi, Baba. Hi, Nini. I miss you. And then, Baba, Baba. Did, did, did you replace me with the teddy bear? Mama told me you replaced me. Hmm? No more. No more? Nope. Not now. It was just for a little weeks, Baba. <laughs> it was just for a little weeks. 
Okay. That's you are a daddy, not that I'd be fair now. I used to cry really hard when you left. I know. I was crying and crying. Yeah, it broke because my heart. I want to see your heart now. You want to see my heart? You see it? <laughs> Can you see it now? I can't see because of these binoculars. Binoculars? It's too funky. Okay, Baba. I don't think you know what that word means, but that's why. Mommy. Hi, Mommy. Where's Talia? Over there. To bring her, Mommy. Good morning. <laughs> You just woke up? Yeah. I miss you. Me too. I'm away from the from my family. I have three kids and a husband back home. 20 minutes away from the safe zone, but I can't see them. Not being able to hug them or kiss them was something that in the beginning it was hard for them to understand. Ladies? Yeah? Yalla, I have to go. I have some work to do, okay? Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye. Very soon we will be able to be together and um, it's for a good cause. The whole fight island is, uh, is my fourth baby. And every single morning I wake up feeling proud that I'm part of this project. I'm part of uh, a big project that is showcasing the destination to the world, showcasing the health and safety measures that are taken within this uh, project. It's so close to my heart. Marina's fight and the flyway title fight will both be called by broadcaster Paul Felder. He has been away from home for nearly a month. It looked like he may not even make it to Fight Island. Now that he's here, he's making the most of it. It's nice. It's nice to finally see these sights and get out a little bit. It's been good. They're taking care of us, man. You call and ask for anything. These guys are, like, going above and beyond. So today I did 15 miles on the bike and then got off and went swimming. Just recently, in the last year or so, I just started swimming and I suck, but man, it just, it's good on my body and it, I can do like three laps and I get my heart rate up the same as if I ran three miles. Some cupcakes on your dress. Cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cannot wait. I want to see my daughter. I want to see my dog, my girlfriend. I'm staring on FaceTime and Zoom at this house that I just bought, my first house ever that I've purchased, and I'm not even in there yet. I haven't even stepped foot in my own house. I love my new house. Yeah. Must be nice. I'd like to see it. Well, you should, because there's a surprise in it. There's a surprise? Yeah. What's my surprise? We have chocolate chip cookies for you. Just make sure to share your cookies, okay? I, pro I promise okay. I'll share my cookies. Mm -hmm. Do you miss me? Yes. Yeah. One more show and I'm out of here. All right. One more. All right, I love you. Marina Rodriguez is set for the biggest fight of her life. Only one thing left to do. Her hair. Só faço trança para não soltar na luta. Na verdade, eu até nem me importo com o estilo, não só que fique o mais firme possível para não atrapalhar na luta. Mas esse em especial eu gostei muito. Ficou legal. Depois eu fecho. Então, lá, por lá. 
Sim, acho que é o melhor dos meus. Sim, sim, sim. Sim, sim. Sim, sim. Quiet calm before competition can seem overwhelming. For fighters, the key is steadying the storm inside. Essa minha atenção nos pode falar. Você passou por todas as situações. A gente veio crescendo luta por luta todas as situações. E quando se bater, não tem medo de cair. Rodriguez's opponent is former strawweight champion Carla Esparza. Her toughest challenge to date. Esparza may be younger, but she is also much more experienced. Marina Rodriguez, the number nine ranked strawweight right now, comes into this one, Paul, with a really big opportunity. Yeah, I mean, you take out a former champion, that's going to put you in the lineup to be facing the top of the division and potentially moving towards that title shot. Ela vai jogar cruzada, ela vai jogar mão direita, hein? Isso! É bem isso aí, ó. Oh, look at that intro. Beautiful work. Abriu ela, vamos bater lá. Oh, there's some damage. Oh. Oh. Elbows from the bottom. Oh, look at that. Second right hand right on the cut as well. Beautiful work here from Marina Rodriguez. Had a very impactful first round. In an even back and forth battle, Rodriguez lands damaging strikes. Stay heavy, heavy, heavy. But it is the veteran Esparza scoring more points. Pass it over. Oh. It is a grueling battle here. Oh, Another takedown. Isso, levanta, sai, sai o quadril. Agora, vai, vai, das costas. Não, não deu, infelizmente. Man, they're better not focus on this, man. Ah, good job, guys. Não tem problema, não tem problema. Vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos treinar. Meu, tá saindo, mãe? Não, parou, já. Não, não faça isso. Não faça isso, desculpa. Ankle like popping. I felt it go pop, 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 pop. That's what I mean. Like the straight ankle yeah. lock, high stress inflation, high stakes. I'm not gonna tap that shit. Take it. Hate it when you write. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's tough. Like I, even watching her other fights, she was in like bad positions with like, Talbio and like other grapplers. Like yeah. she never quit. So yeah. Que a gente guerreiro, a gente veio e forneceu uma boa luta. Entendeu? É isso que tem que fazer. Não tem assim. Isso aqui é trabalho. Se a gente não pegar e não se fortalecer, que você acha que eu tô, tô triste? Eu não tô triste. Ela forneceu uma luta boa. Infelizmente, a outra menina realmente é a top. Win or lose, Marina does not walk alone on her journey. No fighter ever does. Megan Olivi has supported her husband. Joseph Benavides every step of the way on Fight Island. But on fight night, she sequesters herself away from the action. We already said bye and I asked him if he wanted me to come in his locker room and he said, no, we're good. Be very happy when he wins and it's over. <laughs> 
I carry his nerves for him because he never has any. I will not watch any of it. I'll, I'm just gonna go into, I think, the catering room. It's like six feet outside the door for the octagon. So. second locker room and the guys in blue shirts will show you where you're dressing. If you need anything else, just let me know, Joe. I like like a, a thinner wrap, like not a huge puff, because I wear pretty small gloves, so I like to just get some good support, just good support on the wrist. Something on the thumb, but nothing, not, not nothing crazy. Where are you at? Just outside London. Right. Yeah. yeah, my wife loves London. Uh, yeah. yeah, she likes it there. Yeah, like me and my wife talk all the time when I retire, just like before we have kids or something at least. Just like staying, traveling staying in Rome for like three months just as a hub, you know, go kind of everywhere. a gente tá bem, bem aqui já num círculo já. Pai, a tua palavra fala, Senhor Deus, que é tudo é conforme a tua permissão este momento, a ida deles a este lugar. Pai, em nome de Jesus, Senhor Deus, guarda daí, abençoa a vida dele, abençoa a sua família, os seus filhos no Brasil, sua esposa. Creio, Senhor Deus, que naquele momento, na hora da luta, Senhor Deus, tu vai estar guiando e dirigindo os passos do daí, Pai. Em nome de Jesus, nós te agradecemos, Pai querido. Amém. 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 Obrigado. On the surface, Figueiredo and Benavides seem very different. But both men share a similar aspiration, to be the best, to prove it to themselves and to the world. This guy can't fucking hang with you, dude. Don't be afraid to double up that left yeah. and turn it into a jab for yeah. your overhand too. Yeah. Yeah. He thrives when he's left alone. Stay sharp for 25 minutes. If it has to take 25, that's fine. We can go all day. Yeah. Ready for the hardest 25 minutes of my fucking life. Mão direita alta, finta, ocupa ele, finta, surpresa, surpresa, surpresa. Fora isso, é toda a cartilha que tu treinou. Entendeu? Mas se for coisa normal assim, fala pra mim que eu grito. Uh, body. Can you walk around a little? Yeah. Because my husband, I'm very nervous. You know what? At least he's having fun and not nervous. I'll carry all of it. Shifts, shades, Frasers, condits. They're all there. They always are. This guy won't touch you if you don't let him. I will carry it all. Tu nasceu com essa porra aí, mano. Tu não sai fazer outra coisa. Dá tudo a tua vida aí, mano. Isso aí vai mudar pro teu patamar, isso aí. Não tem pena no teu corpo. Não pensa lá fora, não pensa não sei o quê. Pensa no teu trampo, na tua vida, na tua família, nos teus filhos. Guys, stand here, we're gonna grow this way, ok? Let's go, moleque. Tua vida, trabalhar, meu irmão. Isso aí, moleque, essa postura mesmo aí. Focado. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Joseph. Just gotta pray really quick. Dear Lord, please protect him. Help him be victorious. Help him see clearly. 
Help him be safe. Help him use all the gifts and blessings that you've given him. Please, Lord, protect him. Help him be victorious in this battle. Thank you. We trust you. So here walks the number one ranked Davison Dustegera Figueredo. He missed weight first time, but these two met. He made weight this time. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. It is time for the main event of the evening. Five rounds of action this scheduled for the vacant UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Let's go, Joseph. From the bell. Joseph Benavidez versus Davison Dustigera Figueredo. Okay, God. Please help him. Please help him be victorious. Please help him be victorious. Isso, bate e sai, bate e sai. Da próxima sai mais. Isso, ele não te toca, ele não te toca. That's it. Circle, one, three, ground, ground low. There we go. We can't hear, we can't see, because he's going to be fine, and it, we're just carrying his stress. Oh, oh my God, it's caught him. Wow, ele é um jogo. Ele morreu, morreu, morreu. Vai pra guilhotina. Cotovelo, cotovelo de novo. Bate. Oh, 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 massive elbow. Big elbow. And again. Mão no pescoço, cotovelo. Oh, 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 it's bad. This is bad. Bota pra pegar. Bota pra pegar. He's giving up the choke here. He's on the... Uh, Figueiredo's got the, the choke. Chin. That's it. Pega, 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 pega. Não, não, não. Não faz força à toa. Bora ganhar no jiu-jitsu. Up, Joseph. Up, Joseph. Work here, work here. Joe's trying to recover those still. You see the look in the eyes. Oh, he's man, still that's confused. tighter, Mike. He's going to fight those hands like his life depended on it. Rambo here. Fight hands, Joe. Fight hands. Joe always starts slow. He always starts slow. Chica, bota ele para baixo. Vou pegar agora. Não faz força à toa, meu irmão. Bora, bora para cima dele. Chica ele, chica ele. E chica, agora é chica. Agora é chica. Tem que botar ele de barriga para esticar ele. You got it now. It looks as if the fight is over. But Benavidez is not done fighting. That's so tight. Joe's man, Joe's tight. How is he surviving this? I don't know. If He's anyone can escape, hands. this is Joe. He's got to try to if push that elbow up. Escape. He's out. Wow. wow. No Incredible. Way. Oh, shit. He pulled it off. Fucking go, man. That was fucking deep, too. That hurt. I guarantee you that hurt his throat right there. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Find your groove. Find your groove. No rush. All right, Joey. It's going to be swimming upstream here in round number one for Joe Benavidez. Cuidado nessa curta, não curta, curta não. Direto e chuta na cabeça. Davidson's going to be just brimming with confidence now. Oh, he's in. Put his back on again. Put him in. Hey, we got a minute left, y'all. Compose here. Stay composed here. Aí, moleque. Não te joga em cima dele, não te joga. That's a third knockdown of the opening rounds. Oh no. Opposite way. Opposite. Calma para dar o cotovelo, ajeita para dar o cotovelo, para cortar, para cortar. Recover, babe. Recover, babe. And Figueroa smells blood once again. Chica ele, chica ele, chica ele. We got that one. Josie Benavides has never been submitted. Look at the torque that Benavides has. He's never been submitted. He's conscious. He lost. Shit. Davison Figueiredo is the new flyweight champion wow. of the world. Wow, he beat the shit out of him. Listen, 
We, we did we did the rematch because of all the controversy. There's no controversy in this one. That is the very first time in Joseph Benavidez's career that he has been submitted and it is in the biggest fight of his life. And now we see Figueredo going over to pay his respects. Good to see Benavidez on the stool. Yeah, and John... look at the emotion now, Michael, from Figueredo. He's in tears. Yeah, well, of course, getting this flyweight title wasn't easy. He had to beat him twice to get it. Joseph Benavidez gave him a fist bump. Said, good job. Of course, he's deflated, but tonight belongs to the Everson Figueredo, the undisputed flyweight champion. There is no discussion now. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Four minutes, 48 seconds, round number one. Technical submission by rear naked choke for your winner. And now, the new UFC flyweight champion of the world, Davison Hughes the Guerra Figueredo. Congratulations. Congrats, you guys. He is finally wearing that gold over his shoulder, and we can see what this means to the man from Malaju, Brazil. His team back in Belém will be celebrating this as well as he lifts that gold up to the heavens. Listen, the man will not be denied tonight. Tonight, he just showed he's a cut above the rest. And I've got to say, I don't see anybody taking this belt off of him anytime soon. One man's elation is another's anguish. That is fighting. There can only be one. Yet it is often in defeat when the measure of a man is revealed. I hate letting everybody else down. You, you haven't let a single person down. I know. We don't love you because you were going to fight for the world title. We love you because of the person you are. And I saw the elbows. I heard control of his hands. I did. Hey, Joe. How you doing, brother? You know. Man. Hey, 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 that's just the way it goes. That's fucking life, man. It's fucking life. That's fucking life. That's no shame. Fucking insane. No shame. Yeah, man. Yeah, and you man. gave it your best fucking shot. And you've showed the heart of a fucking warrior. Seriously, Joe. Yeah. Everybody's respect. Yeah. Everybody's respect. And that's just the way it fucking goes, man. How you found your way out of those chokes is beyond me, the first couple. But you fucking did it. Yeah. And the only way you wouldn't tap, you had to fucking put it to sleep. Takes yeah. balls, man. Takes real balls. Yeah. Life's fucked up, huh? Mm hmm. Life fucking comes at you, bro. Ah, shit. I love you. Love you too. Huh? <sighs> shit. You can accept defeat when you feel like you did every fucking thing right. If I do everything fucking you tell me, you told me, you told me, and you told me, I win the fight. So I obviously went wrong on that, and I'm sorry. But, like, we were fucking ready. Like, I felt fine. I felt great. I saw fucking everything. Just the patience and the mindset you guys had me in, like, I felt like I could fucking see everything, the tiniest little fucking faints. I didn't apply everything I could have. I gave it my fucking best. And that hurts in itself, not being the best when you put it, you know, everything towards it, but something you gotta fucking live with. From Fight Island to the island of Marajo, Brazil. A champion returns home. <laughs> For a boy who grew up herding buffalo at the mouth of the Amazon River, 
This is a dream realized. It was a dream he shared with his grandfather. cinturão era que ele tanto queria e hoje eu tô tô aqui para realizar o sonho dele eu queria, eu queria meu avô aqui cara festa de ano comemorando comigo esse tipo Mas Deus sabe o que faz, cara. Deus sabe o que faz. After 42 days away from his family, Saeed is able to return home. Steve, it all was right, a man. pleasure, yeah. an honor to work with you. Thank you very much for everything you've done. Thanks for all the help, accommodation, understanding, patience, all of it. Herb, once again. Hey, thank you, brother. I'll see you soon. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All the best, all right? Have Take a safe care. flight. Have a safe flight. I'll see you. Peace. I'm out. Fire Island. See you again. Take care, guys. It's been surreal, I think, is, is the term that most uh, aptly explains what we've been through. I think we're all happy uh, with, with how it came out, and it was a success with every party involved. You have no idea, man. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm just... Uh, you're gonna have to balance out the, the hugs between between the kids. So let's let's see how they react. They don't know I'm coming. I'm gonna surprise them early. Baba. Hi, Baba. Baba. Hi, Baba. Hi, baby. Hi. Miss you. I miss you too, baby. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was counting all the days. I know, Baba. I'm so happy I'm back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First foray onto Fight Island is over. Those who experienced it are forever changed by the journey. But Fight Island is just beginning. For it is more than a destination. It is the embodiment of a principle. A principle very worst of times can bring out the very best in each other. Came on to this celebration time and the best part is this lady. Look at her. It represents the will to keep going through all of life's tribulations. For inside all of us is a fighter. 
no matter what the future may hold, we will never stop fighting. White Island was one of the coolest things we've ever done. You just have to come back again. That's well, that's right? a, that's a given. We know I'm coming back. This is not just a one-off, or maybe we do another one. You know, I think the Fight Island brand just. Just keep moving. We're going to be in Fight Island for a long time. If you have the will and the desire and you're willing to do whatever it takes, there are no problems that can't be solved. Anything is possible.